welcome to Dr. Kanan Pagare in this channel. We want to know whether there is bone mass or not. Understand bone is made up of calcium and these calciums are chemical substances that combine with phosphate and create a crystal like apparatus. So bone is a calcium appetite crystals. So these crystals that are required to be bringing in calcium and phosphate. Out of that very interestingly it is not the calcium that is so important it is the phosphate that lets the calcium come in. It's very interesting you can take a lot of calcium but if the phosphate doesn't take that calcium in it is useless. Again we need to understand why did these guys talk about Surya Namaskar? What has Surya Namaskar to do with body health here? No, there's no requirement for me. You understand? He's there, I'm here. Today we have suddenly found most of us, most of us have a vitamin D deficiency. The reason being the sunlight must fall on us. If the sunlight doesn't fall, the possibility of vitamin D3 formation is minimized and thereby calcium that you take, even though you take calcium supplements on a day-to-day -day basis, we find that you can fail to absorb that calcium from the intestine because vitamin D is not available. We are now seeing even athletes who are playing indoor sport, they are prone to it. Athletes who are on a water sport, those who are literally in a, in a, inside the water, swimmers, divers, these categories are again people who can lose their bone mass because they are constantly floating in a buoyancy and without the gravity. We are also going to see in people who are cycling only need not be as good as running, walking. Okay, the reason there must be an axial loading. If you take the bone, the bone is a substance which puts, gives us height, gives us space. At the same time, whenever there is an axial loading, the ends of the bone which are spongy, appearing like spongy, it's not spongy, we call it a spongy bone, requires that kind of a, you know, pressure and modulation to ensure the calcium is deposited. It is possible if we are lying down for a longer time. Regular exercise and calcium supplementation, it is possible to make sure that they can be devoid of an osteoporosis or an osteopenia, which is actually found by a DEXA. When it is 1.0, point is 1.0, we say that it is normal. Anything below that, 1.1 to 1.4 is osteopenia. Anything less than minus 1.1 to 2 when all is osteo severe osteoporosis. You have to understand that the DEXA dual energy x-ray absorptiometry is the only way to know the bone mass. There is no other way. Or the x-ray that we take can give us that bone mass is lost. We know it is lost but not evaluated, calculated. Are you aware of the fact that calcium is lost from the dermis due to sweat, it is possible. We are understanding this only in long distance athletes who may have to replace about 1000 milligrams of calcium per day in men and 1300 milligrams of calcium in women. A sweat assessment can be made and then be able to prescribe or supplement it as 1000 calcium in this athletic group where the athletes who are into a long distance run and the sweat is more and thereby can lose more through their sweat. So you need to understand that all the athletes don't require it, maybe not the weight lifter, common impression is those who are lifting weights must have. No, whatever calcium that they eat that will get absorbed into the bone because of the load that they are using in an axial way. That is the axial bones are compressed so naturally they are getting more calcium deposited. So we need to move again.
but remember when we saw Fauja Singh who was running the London Marathon 7-8 years ago, he was 102 according to their relatives and he ran the uh, marathon in 6 hours and 45, London Marathon 6 hours and 45 minutes. Fauja Singh was from India, moved from Ludhiana into London around six, when he was 60, continued to run. So these are the people whom you can see are models who changed their bone mass and at 100 if they can continue to do, why not the others? Ensure that they are going to have strength training done and bone mass can be increased or a